With the first ever Valorant LAN being over, I think it's time we reflect over the things we've learned over the course of the tournament. I will go mostly over the things that are applicable to solo queue, not composition or agent picks as those are usually requiring coordinated play during the entire game to be used efficiently. Without further ado, let's get into it. During the Nutton vs Fnatic game on Haven, we got to win as a very interesting way to get rid of Killjoy's ult, showcased by Lakia. Basically all you need to do is to get close to the wall on the second tile and shoot the wood part of the wall so your bullets can go through. However, if Kelja plants the ulti further, you won't be able to use a rifle and you're forced to use a heavy penetration weapon such as Guardian or Odin. But of course, if Kelja plants the ult like that, the ult won't be as good, so it's very likely that her ulti will be close. If the enemy wants to take B side, you can also shoot down another one of her common ult spots if you shoot right here. During Newton vs Sharks, we got to see this cheeky post-plant wallbang. You simply need to get to the box on short while having the bomb planted in the corner of the site. You can even use pings to help you out. You can even use rifles to get a kill like this. You can even deny plants like this if someone decides to plant there for some reason. Lucky also has a very interesting way of using Sova ult. He starts off the shot in the ground and then pulls up his crosser. This makes the ulti a lot more unpredictable and harder to dodge. This is how it looks from the enemy POV. As you can see, it's a tad bit harder to predict. And it's not even that hard to pull off, so if you are a Sova player I recommend that you use your ulti like this from now on. I even got to use this trick in a real game. I didn't kill anyone with it, but I did tag two people, which means 163 damage. I sadly forgot in which game I saw this, but I saw someone use this molly from under heaven. All you need to do is aim the molly on the corner of the box while you're sitting next to it and throw it with left click. The molly does indeed damage players picking from heaven. This thing works with anyone that has a molly. That includes Brimstone, Phoenix, and of course Viper. And the last thing I learned was more of a confirmation of a theory I had before. Playing aggressive on defense is a go as long as the aggression is early in the round. If you play aggressive too late in the round, things might go wrong. Shock is by Nutton over here. However, if you play aggressive early in the round with proper utility usage, you get a lot of map control and you make the enemy use a lot more utility before even taking the site itself. Yes, I know, I said only things that can be done in solo queue. But it really isn't that hard to tell your Roman or Bridge to flash for you, is it? You can take map control quite easily with minimum utility usage. These are 5 things I've learned from Masters. It's very likely that there are a lot of things that I've missed. There are a lot of things that you can take from professional players. That's why you should also watch esports. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day.